Hey everybody, welcome to the show. It's that time of the day. It's that time of the week. Guess what? It's Friday. Freaky Friday, Friday the 13th. You guessed it. Happy hour, folks. Tim's smiling. He's drawing weird circles or something on his paper. There's nothing so, there to circle. So, <laughs> Friday the 13th happened. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> and do you, know, do you know what happened? The one time. <laughs> The one time no, I didn't say Friday the Thirteenth. Literally the one <laughs> and only time you have not said Friday the Thirteenth. And you know, you send me the episodes after you edit them, and yep. I listen to just kind of spot check, proof them, yep. say, "Hey, it's good." Post it, yep. and I heard it, and I realized what day was coming, <laughs> and I'm like, "No, no one's gonna notice. No one even listens to these anyway, let alone notice it. And even if they do notice it, they're not gonna say anything." Well, if I could go a little further upstream, so I was editing the show, and I was realizing then too when it was gonna <laughs> drop, and I'm like, "Oh, it's dropping on the 13th." Well, good thing I said that every. Wait a second. <laughs> The one I didn't say it on. So, And how many people called us out on it? Oh, a number. Yeah, I was like, egg on my face. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I'm not the one that says Friday the 13th. Yeah, well, so, uh, you but, can all get your money back. <laughs> yeah, really, yes, exactly. We will send you six podcast dollars back. Yes. Um, so we just wrapped up taping a dream show in some sense, which we didn't realize until we got into it because these were all like uh, music conspiracies, really, and a yeah, couple of voicemails. So exactly. Basically, what do we want in our lives? Music. Uh, and voicemails. And voicemails. From our listeners. <laughs> and, and maybe sometimes some conspiracies. Yeah, we really threaded the needle on this one. So Tim, how do you feel now that <laughs> we're done? I feel good, man. I feel like <laughs> I want to go home and listen to Jesus like really, really loud. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. yeah. You were like preaching for a while. Dude, I, I, I didn't even go off on Kanye. No, you like, didn't. I'll go off on Kanye. Oh, I know. I've been there. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. I just kind of tune out and yeah, I go yeah, yeah. think about Although, something else. I played you a track. I played you a track and you're like, yeah, that's actually really good mm -hmm. because you know what he's really good he is really good he's he's the best man for me it's like um you know how you can appreciate fine art and just say yeah that's yeah. fine art yeah it's not my thing but i appreciate it that's where i'm at with <laughs> kanye I, I that's cool that's yeah. cool that's um cool. yeah so um i respect that um i should so like Jimi hendrix though like what is is there an album where you you weren't like a greatest hits guy, were you? No, I did have that though, but I yeah, got I, into, I had it too. Like I think it was the Are, you, Hendrix, ex, are you Experience? Are you Experience yeah. is the one that yeah, I it was like twenty two tracks or something like that. Yes, you know? yes, and I used to just uh, wait. No, no, no. Are you Experience is an album. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that was oh, my entry okay, point, okay. not yeah, the yeah, sorry. greatest hits. No, that that is uh, that is probably my favorite album of his. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Does that have Castles Made of Sand? I don't think it does. Okay. I don't remember off. Uh, I, I don't remember offhand. That and Wind Cries Mary, mm. I think, are like two of my favorite. He's such a good songwriter, too. The first time I heard Castles Made of Sand, I remember it. I was like, "Oh, this is really prolific." Yeah, and it's. Like an awesome song, and I was like, "Oh, okay, what do I do now?" Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I I kind of like had it in my mind. It's like, okay, he's a really good guitarist, yeah, and like yeah, does yeah. his wild things with the guitar, and that's cool. Right. And then I was like, "Oh, and he's a good songwriter." Yeah, like, I was like, "What's going on here?" I know, I know. Well, for me, you know, like I said, I loved uh, I love Mitch Mitchell, the drummer for Jimi Hendrix. And I remember when I was uh, in high school, I used to go to the church where I, you know, went to service basically, and uh, we had a drum set there. And I would put my headphones in and just try to play along with Mitch <laughs> yeah. Mitchell for hours and <laughs> just bang so on cool. the drums. It was so much fun. That's awesome. His his music was so intense. But um, yeah, no, I mean, Hendrix is obviously. It's like you will hear people, you know, always try to impersonate his style, and it's like you can play every single note. Yes. With the same length and yes. the same pizzazz. And it's like, it'll never really sound like Jimi yeah, Hendrix. It's exactly. just so unique and so good. 100% agree. Yeah, no, I mean, that guy's awesome. Um, so, yeah, our experience, absolutely. David Bowie, I say uh, you got to listen to um, Station to Station and probably Ziggy Stardust. Those sure. are my two favorites. Sure. And if you, if you want to listen to Kanye, man... Here's, here's what I'll say about Kanye. First three albums, you got that kind of chipmunk soul, super poppy, really good. Right after that, he comes out with something just like blows everyone away. His, uh, he breaks up with his fiance. His mom dies. He goes into the studio and comes out with something that's like all auto-tuned and electronic. It's weird. No one liked it at the time. Everyone hated it. What does it do? It spawns an entire new music industry, essentially, because then you got people like Drake and The Weeknd and those guys that essentially owe their entire career to that one album. Not my favorite, but then he does My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. I would start there and then go to Yeezus. Absolutely amazing, gorgeous albums. 
Nothing like them on Earth. So good. If you don't like them, send them to me. I'll give you uh, your money back. You just witnessed one one thousandth of uh, one of Tim's Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you cut me off. Like I could have kept going for like two straight hours. I know. I was like, okay, here we go. (laughs) So good. I'm just going to leave. I'll keep it recording. I'll come back when you're done. How about that? (laughs) Oh, man. Amazing stuff. Fair enough. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Let's wrap it up here. Have a great weekend. Whatever you're doing. I don't care what it is. Go out there and have some fun, huh? You don't care. I care. I hope they're doing some fun. That's what I'm saying. As long as it's fun, I'm happy. Be cool. As long as they're happy. No, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Have a great one. We'll see you guys. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.